In this video we're going to have a look at a question all to do with forces in two dimensions. So look at this question here. It says two perpendicular forces have magnitudes x newtons and 3x newtons. See the diagram. The resultant has magnitude 6 newtons. Calculate x. So these forces acting perpendicularly at a point it's quite an unhelpful diagram because both forces originate from the same point. It's more helpful to think of the forces acting one after the other. So I'm going to try and redraw this diagram in a more helpful way. So firstly, there's our X Newtons. Then after that force is acted, imagine the other force acting, the three X Newtons. So we get this situation here where X Newtons acts there, then three X acts there. So now it makes a lot more sense because the result of these two is the line that goes from the start point to where the second force ends up. And that makes a lot more sense now. So it's telling us to calculate x. Well, if we do that, we know that the resultant is 6 newtons. So using Pythagoras, which is obviously a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where we get x squared plus 3x squared equals 6 squared. That is x squared plus 9x squared equals 36. That means that 10x squared equals 36. So x squared equals 3.6 which means that x equals the square root of 3.6. Normally it would be plus or minus, but in this practical scenario, we know forces can only be, in this context, the magnitudes of forces can only be positive. The forces themselves can be acting in a negative direction, but the value of x has to be positive here because of the direction specified by the arrow. So root of 3.6, which is equal to 3 root 10, over 5 newtons and keeping the answer exact in maths is a good idea unless instructed otherwise in physics typically they prefer rounded answers and the uh, the precision that you need to round your answer to would be given in the question but for the purposes of maths unless asked otherwise I repeat it's better to keep the answer exact because that will make your answer more precise more accurate in later parts of the question. So then it says find the angle that the resultant makes with the smaller force. So the smaller force is the x newtons, the larger force is the three x newtons. So smaller force is here, larger force is here. So find the angle the resultant makes with the smaller force. It's asking for this angle here. So let's call this alpha. Right, so part two. So, drawing the triangle a bit better now, we'll redraw this triangle, because now we know the lengths of the sides. So, we've got that there. Not a particularly great triangle, but doesn't need to be. So, x is 3 root 10 over 5. And 3x will be 9 root 10 over 5. We want to find alpha. Well, we know tan alpha is opposite over adjacent. So equals 9 root 10 over 5. Over 3 root 10 over 5. Equals. So let's put this in the calculator. Nine root ten over five over three root ten over five equals three. So tan alpha equals three. Which implies alpha, the angle made, equals the arc tan of that. So inverse tan of that. 
which is 71.6 degrees. And that's the, all the requirements of the question fulfilled. So for more videos like this, go to a11mathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up at the bottom, please.